Hello. Welcome to another edition of Emotions Expert. I'm John Rushton. I'm going to talk today about whose life are you living? Because I get a lot of people corresponding with me talking about their lives. But when I actually read the correspondence, I find that predominantly it's about other people and not about them. And your life is about you. It's not about other people. Even if a lot of other people interact with you on a daily basis, friends, partners, family, whatever, you, your life is yours. It's nobody else's. And you've got to make sure that you are in charge of your life. And you don't follow or imitate or try and look up to somebody else because you want to be that person. It's okay to think about other people and that they are living nice lives and wow, that's lovely. But at the end of the day, you are not they. That You are a person of your own making. You are not someone else. You've got to be the person you want to be. You've got to enjoy your life the way you want to enjoy it. And if you're not enjoying the way you think you are life, you are living your life, you've got to change it. You've got to modify it. You know what it is that's not making you as happy as you should be. And these aren't fantasies. You know, I want more money. I want more this. I want this. I want a nose job. I want this doing. None of that business. You know deep down what makes you tick. You are an expert on yourself. You know all your traits, your foibles, your understandings, your likes, your dislikes, your hates, your loves, all the bits in between. You have your fantasies, you have your fears, you have your phobias, you have your great likes, you have things people you like, people you love, people you don't like so much things you like, you know all about what food you like, where you want to go, what makes you happy. Nobody else have, is privy to all of this information, only you. And so you've got to really look at your life holistically and think, what do I want to do? And don't take on board what other people say, because what other people say about you, it may be correct, but by the same token, it's all about them. It's how they think and how they put forward what they think, because their information is based upon their foibles, their loves, their likes, their dislikes, their fears. And what you may like may be partly some, something which is quite fearsome in, the, in their life. They may not like it. They may feel quite sort of terrified at doing something which you're doing. And it may be to you mundane and quite simple, but they may think, oh, I can't do that. I don't like that. Oh, I don't like those kind of things and all of that. And they may be frightened of spiders and you may love spiders. And therefore you've got somebody who's going to back away straight away when you're talking about that subject or going anywhere near them. And it's a similar kind of thing with other aspects of your life. You've got to make sure that you're doing what you want to do and not because other people don't like it or they, they're objecting to it. It's not the way they think, not the way they see life, not the way they would want to do things because none of that has anything to do with you. And you've got to be careful even with parents when they say, oh, you don't want to do that. Get yourself a decent job. Do that. It's safe and that. Well, it's your life, but I wouldn't do that. Fine. You wouldn't do it. You, you never would do anything. You haven't done much yourself anyway. So why are you telling me this now? You're not an expert on life. You're only an expert of what you've come through and it's not being brilliant and this is not being derogatory or nasty or anything you've got to look at life fairly coldly if someone's vastly successful in what they do it means they are vastly successful in what they do it doesn't mean they're good at anything else and so many people make the mistake of thinking well look at them they've done well they must be good at this they must be. no they mustn't some people are absolutely useless at life. They do something very well in a business fashion and they're very successful and they have nice cars and clothes and houses and things like that. But when it comes to their personal life, they're useless. They have endless psychological problems. They're making endless mistakes. And you see this in celebrities on television and in the cinema. They do a very good job at what they do, at acting and anything else, but when it comes to their personal life, a lot of them are absolutely useless. 
uh, or they're taking drugs or something pathetic like that because they can. Well, just because you can doesn't mean you have to. And you've got to understand where your life is from, what you're doing. Don't follow other people. Even if it looks quite good and respectable, don't follow them. Do something which actually resonates well with yourself. Something which you feel is good about you. You are a unique person. And even if you're part of twins or triplets or something of that nature, it doesn't matter. They still have an individuality within them that they can do things, see things and, and do something slightly different. Do what you need to do, not necessarily what you want to do, because a lot of people want to do various things. And then when they've done it, they think, well, is that it? And think, yes, it is. That's all it is. You've done it now. Now what? So do what you need to do, because everything else is superfluous. Do what you feel is going to get you further forward, which is going to, as I've said before, resonate well within you. It's something which is going to be functional and understanding, and you're going to get a degree of satisfaction and a degree of happiness also. That's very important. If you don't follow the root in being happy, i.e. happiness isn't a destination, it's the way to a destination. So you've got to try and make yourself happy every day. And don't talk yourself out of being happy. How can I be happy when this has happened? Look what's happened to me. It's all right for them. They've got this. I haven't. Stop comparing yourself and being an idiot. You are you. These are the circumstances. This is where you are. This is what you're doing. You can't change it in a second because you've no magic wand. They don't exist. But you can change it in the long term by doing something and by starting now that doing something will make such a difference. And so do things which are compatible to you. And it doesn't mean ostracizing other people and ignoring them. It means understanding who you are because other people come and go other people go home at night other people do whatever they want to do they're only giving you transient information at a certain moment in time you have to live with yourself 24 7 so it's vitally important that you get on with yourself you love yourself you are holistic with you yourself you like what you're going to do you don't dread the things you do okay there may be certain things going to work when it's cold and wet and you don't like that's what everybody has to do in their own respect but what you need to do in your life is pertinent to you make sure you're not waylaid or fast-tracked elsewhere by somebody else's smart talking oh do this and this and this and go here and there and do that you can try it by all means but don't put it as the be and end all of your life because at the end of the day you have to foot the bill you're the one who's living your life you're the one who's going to walk the walk nobody else is ever going to walk in your footsteps and you can't walk in anybody else's footsteps either and even people very close to you who are well-meaning and kind and loving they can't do it for you you have to do it yourself so make sure that when you are doing something it's all about you it's not being selfish or self-centered this is called taking charge of your life and if you cannot take charge of your life nobody else can and that is the bottom line you're the only one who can take charge of your life it doesn't matter where you are what company you work for where you are in life this is all about you and you've got to make those decisions is this wholesome for me and it doesn't mean you can't do things which you don't really want to do but you feel like you must fine but make sure those are exceptions and not the rule just do what you need to do make sure you're comfortable in your own skin because that's vitally important you're the only one who's living in it and will ever live in it so do this for yourself and therefore at the end of the day you need to feel happy may not be deliriously happy and overjoyed and bubbly but at least comfortably happy that this is I've done the best I can today and this is all I can do and tomorrow's another day and make sure every day counts because every other day is a new start a new beginning and you can make a start to live the way you want to live <laughs>